Welcome back to your four to five. It appears that kids are going to have a combination of both online learning and in person learning this fall. But with all the fear about getting too close to other people and the virus, kids may not be sure of how to approach classmates or if they even should. And that's why Blanca Cobb and I are talking today. Ways parents can help their kids get readjusted to social interactions before school starts. So Blanca, let's jump right in. How can parents start this process of getting their kids used to being around other people? One way is to start is by having your child start to learn what six feet looks like because a lot of children don't have a good idea. So let me share a suggestion. You can have a measuring tape and mark the start point, go six feet and put another mark. And you do that in different places of the house. And then you can have your child walk from the start to the finish and count how many steps it takes him or her to get to that six feet. So whatever that number is, I'm gonna make it up. I'm gonna say 10. Then they know they have to say 10 steps away from a friend at school. You can't do this once. You're gonna to have to do it repeatedly in different settings. So do it in the living room, do it outside, do it in their bedroom. They just need to get used to starting to gauge what six feet looks like. That's a really good point. Uh, putting it in terms that they can more easily understand. Blanca, another point that everyone's talking about is getting kids to wear a mask. Uh, how can parents start getting them adjusted to have a face covering on and then interacting with their peers? Well, I'm gonna grab a face mask right now and put it on. You want to have conversations with your kids, but have them try it at home. This is a very thin mask, so you can hear me well. Depending on the fabric and how thick it is, the voice can be muffled. This is really important, not only for listening, but for talking. They need to know how high that pitch needs to be in order for their voice to project six feet. Likewise, when they're listening to somebody, and if they can't hear, then you have to encourage your kids to say, all right, tell them to repeat themselves because you can't hear them. And we're talking about the younger kids, so it requires a lot of practice. 